Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in a new Dead Side game. Uh, I'm re really impressed with the game, honestly. I just uh, played the pre release and honestly, it's really well optimized. I, I had tested in the past like a lot of different early access uh, that were uh, using Unreal Engine 4, and uh, a lot of times I had like some pretty crappy. Uh, optimization and crappy FPS but honestly in this game when I play everything at epic I'm at like 90 to 100 FPS so that's really really good but I will show you how to optimize your FPS in this game so first of all make sure that you deactivate the game mode on Windows really important also make sure that uh, you deactivate the game bar and also make sure that you deactivate all those background recording and recorded audio the other thing that's really important is your uh, GPU driver. So if you have any video, make sure that you do your update. And then the same thing with AMD. They have like, uh, I don't know, when on, uh, Unreal Engine making an update. Uh, they Normally they update their driver and also they optimize their driver for the game that you're playing. So really important to do that. Now we will go inside of the game. I will show you what to optimize. And after that, we will go in the config file. I will show you also another parameter that you can change. So let's go inside of the game. So now in the game, let's go to setting video. So first of all, make sure that you're playing full screen. I saw like I was uh, losing two to three FPS when I was playing in window mode. So really important to play full screen. I don't use VSync, but honestly, it's not a huge deal if you're using it. Uh, you will have pretty like a small input lag, but in this game, it's not really important. Uh, and now start with the graphic setting. So first of all, shadows and foliage, those two parameters are really important. If you put shadow at low and foliage at low, you will gain 20% in your FPS. That's pretty huge, you will see, uh, <laughs> honestly. Uh, but uh, And also it will improve a little bit your gameplay. Yeah, the, look, the game will look like, maybe like shit, if I can say. But uh, you will see uh, better in the forest because of the foliage. I'm pretty sure they're gonna maybe push it uh, with the, on the server side. So for example, uh, you have to play, uh, every, everybody is playing at medium or maybe high, something like that in the future. But this will help you a lot with your FPS. After that, go with view distance. Uh, this one, go at medium. Low, it's too uh, near in front of you. You wanna see in front of you. And this one is really important because it's 4% for each bracket. In increase so uh, view distance medium is a good balance pretty much the same thing with anti-aliasing go with medium low i feel like you see too much aliasing and sometimes you feel like you're seeing an enemy but it's just aliasing in the forest so medium is a good bet post processing it's two percent for each bracket so it's not a huge deal so depending where you're at right now with your fps you can choose uh, what you want to put like high or medium that's pretty much it even low if you want but it's not a huge boost shadow we said low after that texture i'm playing at epic if you have 4 gig of vram and more on your real card epic is fine 3 gig at high 2 gig at medium and less than 2 gig play at low. effect effect you will not necessarily see an increase in your fps when you ch uh, change it on the fly but when you're fighting you're shooting with a gun use explosion or whatever uh if you're seeing drop in your fps it's pr probably because of the effect so just lower this graphic parameter but if you don't have any issue with the stability of with your fps uh go with something like medium or even high FOV I'm playing at 100 for sure if you're putting more FOV you're rendering more stuff in front of you you will lose uh, some FPS but it's not that bad honestly uh, so it doesn't change a lot so after that press apply now let's go in the config file for the config file you will find the file in your C drive user the name of your computer app data local dead side saved config and windows no editor after that, double click on the game user setting. And this is pretty much all the graphic parameter right now in your game. So the uh, the one that you can change is your shading quality over there. Uh, as you can see, it was not in the game. So you can put one over there. Make sure that you save after that and you should be fine. If you see that your file is resetting because you're changing stuff inside of the game, you will have to log the file. So right click on it, click properties, put this one at read only and you should be fine. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And honestly, I, I play like four hours today. Everything went smoothly. It was a good ping, nice optimization. So I'm really surprised with this game. And I hope a lot of people will play it. 
So that's about it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and peace.